good evening or good afternoon everyone hello healthy we want to be fit we want to be more productive we want to be at our best uh, physique or physical ability then we should be in that journey the journey of fitness so that should be our long term goal so if you have uh, decided to take that journey what should be the the fitness plan the vehicle is the fitness plan and like a car has four wheels your fitness plan should have these four wheels attitude lifestyle nutrition and physical activity now attitude and lifestyle are your front wheels they kind of steer your journey on the other hand the the force the driving force comes from nutrition and physical activity i'll explain further so let us talk about attitude first we have always said that slow but steady wins the race so you have to be like a tortoise slow but steady but you don't be the slow tortoise you be the ninja turtle that means you should be you should be proactive and you should be uh, having the ability to combat all the roadblocks that are going to come so when you talk about attitude the first thing you should do is you should know thyself that is what stimulates you what keeps you going on the other hand what does not help you there are people who are self regulated who are self motivated so those people are and self disciplined fitness is a piece of cake for them but i am not like that and i i know many of my uh, friends and and acquaintances are not like that so they sometimes need other another person to to push you to egg you on so in those situations you should plan accordingly as in if if you are not stimulated on your own or you do not have your you cannot maintain accountability on your own maybe you can have an accountability partner or a gym partner so that is one thing the next thing is you should be able to visualize what you want to be what kind of you should have a fixed you know understanding and goal of what do you want to be how your fitness will produce fruit whether you want to have a chiseled body whether you want to uh, say fit into a specific uh, pair of jeans or whether you want to do a specific activity say say i used to have a patient who used to come to me and he used to tell me that sir i am on a uh, on this and this date so many dates after now i am going for a trekking trip so i should be fit enough for my trekking trip so sometimes we have a target like that so you should have a specific idea and target which should be realistic i i cannot have a body of arnold schwarzenegger then you should be able to visualize it and also the target should be healthy for example if i want to have say at my 5 ft 6 inches physique if i want to have a body weight of uh, 36 kg it can be size 0 or size minus 10 but it is not healthy next thing related to the attitude is you should have a growth mindset although we have significant amount of science so fitness is 100% science but what tends to happen is when we apply that science a lot of trial and error goes on because as yesterday we discussed inter individual variability so something that may work for your friend or even your brother may not work for you so you should be you should be ready to understand that what works and what does not and if something does not work try something else i'll come back to that point of trying what works but then the next thing is you should be a lifelong learner as you embark to a journey of fitness 
you should uh, you will get a lot of information and you will understand also a lot about yourself what works for your body what exercise and how to perform a specific say exercise how to uh, eat and what what kind of diet works for you and all this you should be able to learn so people who are fit they learn from their mistakes and then they learn about their body and in general about the process of fitness fairly quickly and once they learn they practice and that is important otherwise you may have a lot of information you know you may uh, it's like you are in a say you are in a sea of or you are, you are the shopkeeper of the best uh, uh, winery, wineries of the world and you are a teetotaler you will get to see a lot of people like that who has all the answers they have figured out everything theoretically but they when they when you put them in water they don't know how to swim you shouldn't be like that if you want to be fit so that was about attitude lifestyle cavemen didn't go to gym now understand this our body is not made for today our body was meant to be hunters and gatherers so because we have gone to the sedentary lifestyle you and i need to do physical activity you and i need to do exercise and that's why we should be we need to pay conscious attention to our diet also so you should with that information in your mind you should design your physical activity you should design your day you should design your diet you should design your everything around you if you want to be fit keeping this thing in mind that stay as close to the natural process of or natural uh, system of of living the life otherwise we are going to have health related problems so one of them one of the tip is make sun your friend we had discussed in the first day how sun affects our health how sun affects our our biological rhythm our our biological clock so ideally you should get up with the sun you should sleep with the with the sun and then you using sun as a regulator plan your everyday activities also accordingly right you should plan your everyday activities in specific time and that itself takes care of so many health related fitness related issues the next thing that you must take care of is to keep a journal because you on the way of fitness on the journey of fitness you will have a lot of experiences you need to replicate the good experiences you need to avoid the bad experiences all the great people who are in great shape you know people professional bodybuilders professional athletes they keep a journal and not only that it helps you to plan ahead giving you the example of sachin tendulkar sachin tendulkar used to keep a journal from his school life where he used to write all the uh, all the types of out he has been so if he has been out say in a flipper next he will go and practice flipper deliveries after delivery so so if you are really serious about fitness just keep a small note of fitness and that will be your best fitness equipment you know then coming to nutritional considerations now we must understand calorific balance when we are talking about a fit body or healthy body then calorific body a calorific balance is of umpteen maximum importance because unless you are balancing the calorie you will be either undernourished or overnourished so if you have a uh, proper calorific balance what do i mean how much of your calories you are eating if your aim is to maintain the physique then whatever calorie you are eating the same amount of calorie you need to expend on the other hand if you want to gain weight then 
the calorie that you are going taking in from your food should be more than the calorie that you are expending with your physical activity and all of the stuff on the other hand if you want to lose weight understand this more or less 1 gram of fat burning means about uh, 10 kilocalorie burning so with that calculation you should use or intake calorie and with that calculation you should expend calorie also now when we are talking about food again my disclaimer i am not a nutritionist i am not a dietitian but then having food is a is the most normal activity so you don't need to be a rocket scientist to have to have sensible food to make sensible food choices unfortunately a lot of our food choices are are because of bombardment of advertisement and again because we drown in the information sea and then food is such a normal natural urge that it is very difficult for us to control that urge so we eat whatever we see so a basic simple food choice is to eat more green leafy vegetable to eat more complex carbohydrate to eat dairy and animal products in moderation cut down on sugar and then uh, eat as much organic food as possible stop processed and refined foods so these are all very basics of our food choices but then if these are so basic what is the problem problem is again as i was saying that food is such one of the basic needs and now food is in so much of abundance that it is very difficult for us to to not eat or to eat in moderation and that's why what we see is what we eat and this is especially true during the present era where we are in lockdown or where, where we are working from home so if you are working from home if you are at, if you are in home then a 10 20 feet of say this at at say 20 or 30 feet of distance just in the other room you have your kitchen where you have a, where you have the fridge which is stuffed with food so when you feel bored you get up you open the fridge and you get to see whatever it is there and biologically evolutionarily our eyes get attracted towards the most colorful and therefore highest calorific food and then once you do this once or twice this becomes automatic that is you get up you go you have your food only when you have you have halfway through or you have finished eating that high calorie uh, not so healthy food you feel that guilt so one of the way is to keep healthy foods in the vicinity and keep uh, high high calorie or presumingly unhealthy food for you a little distant or little difficult to find then i have talked about that when i talked about the myths that many people propagate their own proprietary company foods as the best quality food and they are the best to to improve your health but unless you are you are advised by the certified nutritionist or dietitian do not go for fat foods you know do not go for uh, those those uh, nutritional supplements or powders or or something that is high fi uh, heavily costly and all this uh, whatever you need in your food it is there in the nature because we are coming from nature now even after that if necessary go for uh, uh, go for consultation with your dietitian and then only have uh, something which is which is coming out of a packet otherwise try to eat as natural as possible and finally don't make your stomach a garbage bag again whatever you see is whatever you eat so if you if you do that at one point of time your your stomach will will uh, look like a garbage bag and then it will be very difficult for you to break that habit now 
the next thing that I want to talk about is the calorific output. So suppose you are eating 2200 calories in a day. What happens to that calorie? How it is burned? It is burned by these three levels of calorific burning which culminates to a total daily energy expenditure which is called as TDEE, -E, total daily energy expenditure. Now maximum amount of energy expenditure is your BMR that is basal metabolic rate which means that because I am alive even if I don't do anything my cells just to keep living they need they need the calories they need the energy it's like my my soul is giving that rent to my living body so even if you don't do anything if you even if you are a couch potato you are burning a lot of calories the problem happens then then why then, then the people will say then why should i exercise if my aim is to reduce weight and on its own itself i am burning the calorie then why should i exercise the answer for that is because you are eating more than what you are burning so you exercise to to lose the calorie which is beyond what is there in your body beyond metabolic rate bmr so how do you burn the calorie you burn the calorie via physical activity so uh, certain physical activities are non exercise physical activities so or any at is non exercise activity thermogenesis so those activities that are not exercise but still they they produce calorie then they, they, they use calorie so for for example your everyday activity remember as i said the caveman didn't have to do exercise didn't have to go to gym because his non exercise uh, physical activity was so much that he didn't have to do exercise on the other hand we we have become so lazy and and uh, not in a negative term but automation has taken away a lot of physical activity so previously uh, when i was in hostel i used to wash my clothes myself uh, but now i everything i put in the uh, washing machine so that amount of calorie i have lost when i was a student i used to uh, walk uh, say three floors and then i i was i was living in the fourth floor i used to go to my room now i go into a lift and press the button of the elevator so that is why it is important to be conscious about them and to do as much of extract as much of physical activity from your daily life as possible now it may not be very feasible for you to wash clothes sitting down in the in the floor of your bathroom but at least you can take the stairs and ditch the elevator so so all this are are the physical activity related energy burning but this 10% remaining is called as called as thermic effect of food which is interesting it's like to make money you need to spend some money similarly to digest your food you need to uh, burn some energy you know so that is that can be loosely called as thermic effect of food tef now like money in in money making there are easy ways and there are difficult ways and we want to make money whatever comes easy to me or whatever comes easy to us however if your aim is to burn calorie burn more and more calorie usually uh, we are now obsessed with the body weight so we want to reduce our body weight or we want we want a chisel body so in such a case you want to choose certain foods the foods that are more difficult to digest the food from which energy extraction is much more difficult and what are those foods those are organic foods as in those are non processed foods if you go into processed sugar or glucose you just 
take it immediately it will mix in your blood however when you are eating say complex food for example ragi then it will take a lot of time to break down and it will take a lot of time to become uh, absorbable readily readily encashable kind of uh, material in the body so you can actually play around with your diet with the help of a dietitian and without changing the volume of the food and without significantly altering the taste of the food you can you can find the combination of food a meal which gives you equal satisfaction but which helps you to burn calorie if calorie output is your aim similarly without going into exercise although i am a physiotherapist so exercise is my core domain but uh, without going into exercise you can you can alter your physical activity plan your day in such a way that you can spend more and more energy or basically you can perform the exercise in the caveman style and then physical activity or exercise now first the thumb rule of exercise is do what you love because this is not a 2020 game you are into this fitness for your life many people you will see and i have been guilty of this in the past that uh, you go to gym you perform exercises you pay a hefty uh, fees or you try certain physical exercises activities and then you don't feel motivated enough after a few days and that's why you stop and when you stop what happens is you are back to square one because when you stop exercising in the mind you are your rewiring happens in such a way that because i don't exercise anymore i will eat whatever i want so there is a rebound that happens uh, a trivia you know gyms make most amount of money from their from their yearly membership when you go to a gym you will see the membership you get a monthly membership which is very which is comparatively higher at higher rate and then you have a yearly membership you may have to pay only for 8 to 10 months of fees that is because most of us who pay the yearly membership will not turn up after first, first few weeks so that amount of money we are actually giving free to the gym and once you are out of that habit then you are gone as in then your physical activity will will it will be it will be a, again herculean effort to come back to that old hab, old habit and that is why you should choose a physical activity that you love for me i had uh, tried going to gym i have tried uh, doing uh, i have tried buying the gym equipment and working on my home i have tried calisthenics i have tried body weight based exercise but what what finally stuck to me was plain and simple walking and uh, what i do is i wake up in the morning i put on my headphones and usually i had done a blog post on this i i put some of some of the uh, discussions or speeches not music with a headphone and i walk and i can walk one hour one and half hour how much of time i have i enjoy that time that's what works for me i don't know what works for you when i was young cycling walk for me i don't have a cycle right now and i don't i don't really envision myself uh, cycling on the bangalore road with the uh, with the traffic on but if cycling works for you swimming works for you for many people they play in the morning they have a team of people and that is fantastic you have you have a, a brotherhood who come to uh, come and you join together you play you chit chat so that's why uh, having a peer group helps if you are that kind of a person but at the end of the day you must do something that you will be able to sustain otherwise again the story of the tortoise and the rabbit the rabbit was a faster person but he could not sustain so when you want to exercise when you want to uh, do physical activity do something which you will be able to sustain life long now a little bit of science if you want to plan an exercise regime 
this is the base of it which is called as fit principle which is frequency intensity time and type and this is only for the people who have a specific goal in mind that i want to uh, within this period of time i am going to achieve this so in that case you have to design your exercise based upon fit principle and type is the type of physical activity exercise that you are doing frequency is the number of times you are performing uh, an exercise in a week it is also the number of repetitions that you are performing an exercise if you are doing that uh, say with weight an anaerobic exercise or strength training intensity is the amount of load you are putting in your body so if you are running the intensity can be running speed if you are doing say curls or something then the intensity will be your amount of weight you are putting and uh, as such the exercise volume and then time is how long your sessions are how many time how many repetitions you are performing in a in a uh, whole week and then overall how much time you are putting into that exercise plan so again if you are just planning to stay healthy and fit this may not be of a lot of consequence for you but if you have a specific goal a competition a physical uh, a, a physical appearance uh, uh, something like that so then you will have to go through this and this is just the overview you may want to go into further detail and then you may want to plan your exercise accordingly now so this was the vehicle remember we talked about the vehicle the vehicle has four wheels and the front wheels are attitude and lifestyle where the rear wheels which drive the vehicle was nutrition and physical activity now if you are on the road now understand the traffic rules the first traffic rule is you should not be over speeding because if you exercise if you do physical activity if you do dietary constraint if you if you make your lifestyle changes too much too soon then you will be you will not be uh, in your in your best health like for long time if you have seen people around you as a physiotherapist i get a lot of patient who either go for overuse injuries or suddenly after after using after losing weight by drastic diet within a few months they they have a lot of health issues or uh, many of them prolapse their disc many of them get to get for uh, go back to ankle injury many of them uh, and then and then what happens you know uh, once they are stopping they get an apathy and it takes significant amount of time to to go over to that apathy to that feeling of negative feeling of defeat and then they have this vicious cycle they they again try something very vehemently and then the body does not respond or body body gives warning sign that it is that is something bad is going to happen happening and then slowly 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 ultimately they they end up reaching where a level of health which was much lower than their initial baseline so understand uh, your body in initially you, i i said no that know thyself you must understand your body you must understand your attitude exercise or physical activity or in general healthy living living is like such no it gives you so much of stimulation when you are in the process that you aim to overdo it so understanding this keep your body keep your mind at a check that if your ability is 100 on a on a day to day basis stay at 70 stay at the 7 zone of 70% only for specific events when you need the peak of your health then only you should try and reach your maximum ability it's like total football and per, uh, and percentage football on a day to day basis play the percentage football otherwise you will see on the net a lot of professional bodybuilders have have died 
because they have worked out too much and even i not being professional bodybuilder the toll our body can withstand can be much lesser however don't be the tortoise many of us what we do you know we we go to that again i was talking about uh, the principle of overload yesterday we must overload our body to a to a regular extent then only we will get some gains otherwise if you have a half kilo dumbbell and if you are diligently performing 100 curls every day with a half kilo dumbbell then your gain will be like this tortoise who will be say who would take the whole day to cover the football field you also don't want to go there and that is why it is very important either to sit down with a professional and create a plan or even to understand the uh, uh, say nuts and bolts of exercise plan and create a plan for yourself and then no matter what keep moving you must keep on going to the direction of the better health no matter what roadblocks no matter what hurdle comes yes imagine i i have a fracture in my leg so that i cannot do leg press but the other leg will be healthy and my rest of the body will be healthy and and i will have roadblocks i will have hurdles and, and i will still have to push through because if you stop you are going back and life is such that you will definitely have some roadblocks and the final traffic rule is you can't cheat you cannot cheat because in the traffic it is possible to cheat the traffic man it is even possible that you can hide your number plate and wherever there is automatic camera also you can you can run but our body is such it is fully the the effects are fully dependent upon action so if i have taken even say one gram of fat every day one gram of extra fat every day and i have not burnt that fat then at the end of one year it is 365 gram of extra fat which will be showing in my body so because everything is calculated it is not possible to cheat the physiological system and that is why you know in, in philosophy they say karma now our body our health is the biggest karma if you if you are living a good quality lifestyle and a active life and proper physical activity with good calorific balance your health will be fantastic yesterday i gave the example of uh, uh, fauja singh but then you have so many other other people including uh, the recently deceased uh, this is Milka Singh and then back in my home state Bengal we have uh, we had Manohar Aich who was the first uh, Mr. Universe from India so all these people lived a very long and not only long productive healthy life but then if you are putting whatever is in the vicinity in your in your stomach making the stomach a garbage bag if you are uh, not making sun your friend i was talking about making sun the uh, sun your friend and i'll explain further please get direct sun exposure multiple times in a day in your body for vitamin d previously we used to say that vitamin d exposure is best at the morning now the present understanding is vitamin d exposure is best when the sun is at its at its fullest and then understand this uh, vitamin d exposure is also uh, vitamin d uh, absorption or production is is best when you are at direct sunlight when you are wearing a cloth or when you are taking the sunlight from the window where there is a glass in the window the vitamin d production may not happen so if these are the rules these are the rules of the world these are the rules that govern your body you cannot cheat and finally slow but steady don't try too much too soon keep on keep a plan and go following that plan so these are the traffic rules and sometimes roadblocks happen and the roadblocks are usually either temptations 
if you are giving in to the temptation please if you have given in to the temptation please find redemption please make alternate arrangements as soon as possible next you will also have health events you will also have injury throughout the life so you may have to create alternate arrangement for that also and then you will have life events you will have detours of your journey because uh, say i am i'm scheduled for exercise this evening and suddenly there is a situation which i am I'm, i'm definitely i need to attend if it is a planned situation i should be planning ahead but if it is a sudden situation also i should be making amends for that people who are serious for their health they do it all the time it's like if i have skipped a meal if i have skipped a meal then what will have to what i'll i'll feel i'll still feel hungry and i'll still have to eat if my food time was at 12 o'clock and i have i have not been able to finish my other work by 12 1 o'clock i'll eat right similarly if you have missed either an exercise session or a physical activity session or any other health related activity any other health related consider- considerations you will have to make amends for that otherwise your body will not feel hungry in the stomach but your body will react in a different way so at the end if you are on a journey to fitness happy journey i am also in the same same vehicle same path so let us travel together if you want any further detail on the on the principles which i have just touched touched upon whether the fit principle or the different eight different principles that we have discussed uh, yesterday i am happy to help i i used to teach these things in the university but uh, in this present lecture i have kept it a little light because uh not everyone who is attending this course is from a healthcare background is my understanding is looking at the registration form so i have kept it mostly light thank you so much for being such a kind and attentive audience uh i will scroll down in the chat box and find if there is any conversation all right yeah network is not good it's difficult uh, to to amend that there are certain things which are not in my hand uh sorry for that dr shantanu you don't have to call me sir you are my dear friend yeah dr shantanu from bangladesh uh, was the person who was responsible for taking me to bangladesh for a dry needling workshop uh, and so many known known people thank you so much thank you for being here i didn't see any question so uh, have a good day everyone and happy journey towards your journey of fitness okay atika is cardio exercise necessary for underweight people who want to gain weight uh, yeah atik i remember you legit question see fitness have one of the one of the attributes of fitness is stamina so to live your normal life you need some amount of of cardiovascular cardio respiratory endurance if you do not get that baseline level of cardio respiratory endurance then you need to exercise to gain weight the formula is to you to have a positive energy balance and and convert that increased amount of energy into into uh, muscle mass so you may need to do both atika thank you thank you everyone